I I'm there there was this thing my friend was talking about. It's fucking Twitch drama, but I thought it was interesting. Interesting for a moment. Yeah, basically this uh if you watch the clip, this streamer, basically this guy went on a, a rant about a relationship issue or like a relationship or but I guess a, a hypothetical marriage. He was like, Oh yeah, uh if I ever have a, a girlfriend, like even if she's a streamer, all she's be doing is like cooking and cleaning for me. Cause I'm gonna sit here and be the breadwinner. And this goes to any women, women who wanna date me, especially female streamers that wanna date me. Okay? If you wanna date me, you better believe I will be the, even if you're streaming, you're gonna have to stop streaming. Streaming is ended for you, your career is done, okay? I will stream while you cook for me and you clean for me and you look after the children while I gain all the money and I give it to you and I give it to our children for a healthy, secure life, okay? That's how I want to run my life, okay? That's my life that I wanna do it. Now it's up to you and other people in their other worlds, whatever they wanna do. But my reality, I'm gonna sit here, earn all the money. You're gonna be in the kitchen, cooking, cleaning, and making sure my home is fucking clean. And I'm gonna make sure we have money so we can have a home. And you have a place to sleep at night, okay? Because it's called working together, okay? All right, okay? Because streaming, I believe it or not, is mentally damaging to my mind. So I'm gonna damage my mind, okay? In order for our kids, okay? I'm disturbed, distraught, and appalled at this. Um, Greek God X, right? Banned yes. on Twitch for this. No, he wasn't banned on Twitch for this. He was banned on, twi uh, on Twitch apparently for twerking. But <laughs> this is one of the, like, this is a, sh this in a string of clips is what people are theorizing got him banned. I. And not the fact that he was twerking on stream. I'm not gonna lie. He stated some things, some things that, you know, this is his preference. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. He does not want his woman to work. Now, if I, as a man, said it in a different way, and I merely told my significant other, hey, you don't have to work. You don't have to work. I just, think it's the way he worded it. Like he, yeah. he stated of some very traditional values and then but he said it very aggressively. Or in a way people couldn't really I, I guess people didn't want to give him the benefit of doubt on because of the yeah. way he was speaking. This is uh this is interesting. This is interesting because nothing that he said was like it's like, not oh like he God. said women should be killed, like, oh Yeah, like, yeah, you know? nothing like that. No, he he didn't, didn't say anything crazy. He, he didn't say anything like this is where women belong. Or anything like that. He just said, you know, that's what I would prefer. I would prefer you to not work. I mean, if you make enough money to fucking have an entire family and give your wife money and give your kids money and all you do is stream, I don't know, man. You must be living really good. Uh, I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing to this. This is uh, definitely not the way i would have worded it but i mean you know this man doesn't want his woman to work he wants to be able to get off stream and then you know find his home in in working order and you know i don't i don't really see an issue with the objective of what he's saying with you know like i don't see an issue with that part but i do see an issue with the way he said it because it's definitely heavily implied like that's all she's good for when it's just like that's what yeah. people hear because they just want to hear that, so you know, if you don't I mean, word it in a nice fashion or in a pretty bow, like yeah, people yeah, yeah. are gonna be a little like, "Oh my God, how could he say something?" Like, yeah. I mean, the worst he said was like, "Yeah, you're gonna have to cook and clean." <laughs> like, that's about it. I don't. I didn't really. I mean, the other shit, right? Like, I'm not just. What about you, Plank? Let me ask you a question. If you made enough money as a streamer, would you want your wife to to work? What? Well, the thing is, right. Uh, there, I, I have semi-traditional values, so, I mean, obviously, you know what I mean, there, I, I, the thing is, you'd be so bored, like, just, you'd be so bored not, like, not having a job, but also at the same time, like, kids are a big fucking responsibility. They really are, yeah. And if I'm working, right, like, if I'm working with, uh, working long days, like, I, it'd be nice if it that'd be nice but i'm not saying you have to quit your job right but it's also a strenuous task to raise kids mm, let's true. be real here 
Would you say it's it's comparably as difficult as being a professional streamer? It's not even close. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> it wasn't even a. Wasn't even like I had. It was so like thoughtless that I had. It actually took me a second to realize what you said. I mean, to him, it's probably extremely taxing. He doesn't want to take care of his own kids. Well, I'm not that. Just being a streamer is probably not. I'm, it's probably a little difficult, but I the it's definitely overblown. I how am, easy it is, but being a streamer is it can't be that bad. I'm gonna disagree with this you. Actually, uh, I, I'm gonna slightly disagree. I I do agree that it's it's not that bad. I actually I think being a professional streamer is easy, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because it is, yeah, it is. once you're at the level of professional, it really doesn't take that much to stay there. Like it it really oh, doesn't like. Uh, Unless you do something really stupid, you're probably going to be a streamer for a long time. Yeah, or take a break for too long and your audience is like, oh, well, I found a different person. to." I mean, just going on stream, because there's a certain number of people, like once you hit, what, like, bare minimum, a couple hundred people in your stream can support a full-time income just from, like, watching content. Like, just a couple thousand people consistently watching your streams. I mean... This is also coming lot. from, yeah, that's a lot. Because uh, honestly, I've done the math. And for somebody like me and how much money I make just from 10 to 20 people watching my stream, if I were to 10x that, that would definitely be close well, to making like a... Let's also be real because yeah. there are viewers and there are supporters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just talking about viewers. We're not we're not even talking about supporters, like people who are actively donating, ap actively like paid subbing or anything like that. We're strictly going off of like monetization of several different platforms just based off of viewership right and there's probably sponsorship deals and stuff like that obviously that money comes into play but like i genuinely don't believe like the mental strain is that hard especially because when you reach a certain threshold of success you th can then i mean unless you do something stupid you can then delegate task to other people alleviating that stress to where you only have to worry about being on stream to be on stream and that's it because then you'll have stream clippers you'll have people who are making your tiktoks making your facebook clips making your youtube clips stuff like that like all you really have to do is just show up to stream and then tell them like hey clip this make sure this is clipped uh we're gonna make a video out of this you know either before or after the fact or even during so that's not really difficult uh, I could see if you're a woman, it would be way more difficult because you have to deal with uh, harassment that's on a different level than a man would deal with in the chat. That would be, you know. Yeah, but when you get uh, to a certain popularity, you're getting harassment regardless. Yeah, that's real. true. That's true. But, I mean, we can't. Get, uh, both sides. I'm not saying like, oh, yeah, women just have it okay. They Obviously, there's some very interesting individuals on the internet unfortunately but, uh, <laughs> when you get to a certain size like there are there becomes a way higher frequency of people just like hey you're shit hey you should die and it's like whoa mm. but True. that's at the very top i can't wait till people are telling that to just jay sama but he actually makes money off of it that would be nice you know people already shit, tell me, me to go and die now but <laughs> <laughs> they don't pay you <laughs> but i'm not paid for it yeah so yeah. but I, I yeah i genuinely don't believe that being a quote-unquote profession i i put it in quotations because obviously because every situation is different i don't believe p being a professional streamer is difficult it's just it's just really not like compared to raising a child and keeping a home clean for your fucking fuck boy ass boyfriend um now, i think the thing is is, is that uh, oh. I was talking to my friend about it, and my friend was like, "Yeah, he just wants to sit there and be a mad child, like that's, that's what it sounds like." Yeah, wants. that's what it sounds. He just like. wants to be catered to. Yeah, and and those and those services can be paid for, by the way. Uh, honestly, yeah, and then this this with gets your into tax the... bracket. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're good. You go ahead. With the, with his tax bracket, right? Well, like what he's speaking of, right? To be able to support his family without having the the wife to work. It's reasonable to assume that he can, like, since he's alone, he can just buy those services. Honestly. Like, it's not that difficult. Yeah, no, it's really not. Uh, which is actually the best part about being a professional streamer or being, you know, well off or wealthy in the first place. So, I mean, you know, you could, how much do you really want to, want to, like, just delegate coochie? You know what I mean?
delegate Kuji. I'm just, <laughs> listen, that's why I said it the way I said it because uh, this goes back to the conversation we were having the other day, you know, and we were joking around and stuff like that. It's just like, oh yeah, paying for company, like paying for you know evening yeah, adulterated yeah paying for a service paying for evening adulterated events even um i mean there's not really much difference between that and like actually having someone like a significant other that you're you have to be responsible for their feelings and and the, their thoughts and everything like that like because you know when women are people uh, <laughs> i know contrary to popular belief women are people um <laughs> so you know the way you say things to her, the way you treat her, and the way you speak to her, she may not want to be around that, you know? So then, then, it's funny enough, here you are, Mr. Big Man Hotshot Streamer and shit like that, and your wife leaves you. Uh, bro, you could have just bought a wife. You could have just rented a wife. You know what I'm huh? saying? So, really, I mean, because to, I mean, to be real, if she's not doing anything... According to him, if she's not doing anything but cooking, cleaning, and looking after children, all three of those can be hired by – somebody can hire somebody to do that. It's literally not that hard. The, like, this is just in his ta tax bracket. Right. Because like, he's obviously of the, the tax bracket of which money we cannot fathom. Right, right, right. Probably never That's, will either. So, let's – Yeah, I, probably never will. Yeah. I mean, we will. We will. Perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. Definitely. Perhaps, definitely. I'm just saying that, like – I, it seems weird to like have a rant about this. To be honest, honestly, yeah, yeah. This is, of course, this clip is out of context, but I mean, there's. I don't know. What? Do you, why do you even want a wife, bro? If the three major tasks that you can name, she can delegate to somebody else, or you can delegate to somebody else. Like, what's? I mean, I could understand if you were like, yeah. Like he, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is some context missing, but it just, it uh, honestly, he didn't seem like he wanted companionship. He was just no, like, it, he definitely doesn't cook clean, cook clean, take care of the kids. And that's how I know he he probably has never had been in a serious relationship because there's like fifty thousand other things that you could name before cooking, cleaning, and taking care of the kids. Like literally anything. What about the the fact that? Oh, here's another thing. Here's a, let me jump this in here real quick. The fact that he even says. Streaming is mentally damaging to my mind. Not one time in this clip, maybe he says it after, <clears throat> is he like, I want somebody to help me relieve that stress or relieve that damage or mitigate that damage. Literally, doesn't even say it in this clip. Literally never. So, you know, you know what I mean? Like, that would be, as a streamer, for me, if I felt it was mentally taxing and mentally damaging, that would be so high up on the priority list of things I would want this woman to do that it's just like, holy shit, that's what you actually want a wife for. Like, all this other shit you could just pay a bitch to do. Like, mm. it just doesn't make any sense. And so when you have a lack of relationships, sometimes you you tend to think this way. There's so I, many more dynamics to relationships that you wouldn't be able to understand or even know that they exist without having those type of relationships. It, you know what... <laughs> Me and my friend were talking, like, just to reference this conversation again. I was like, yo, seems like bro just needs a therapist. Like, let's be real. He like, needs if, a therapist if, and a fleshlight, honestly. <laughs> true. Yeah. Like, if it, if streaming is so mentally taxing, like, you need to literally do things to help it? Like, I don't... Maybe he's just a masochist and he just loves suffering. But, I mean, brother, how, long, how long is a... Uh... Let me see how long this guy's been streaming for. He's been streaming a long time. Oh, well, that's probably why. You know, it's it's different when you've only been streaming a year or two and you find success. But if you've been streaming for, like, more than three to five years or anything like that, it could become... Yeah, it definitely can become stressful. For sure. Because you're... You know the... The same way about having experience in relationships, you know what does work, what doesn't work, and different personalities and different perspectives and different things that come into play in a relationship. It's the same thing with streaming. Because you're a professional streamer, you know what it takes to do this, what it takes to do that, the struggles here, the struggles there. This is a hurdle. That's a hurdle. Uh, if somebody's in your chat while and now, or if there is no chat, the chat is dead, or having to actually force chat to not be dead uh which i would love to have a conversation with a professional streamer about how to do that because any of the this this is how i know i, I gotta have a conversation with harris heller because he says you know ask your chat questions that'll that'll get them talking no 
no, no, that's definitely not true. If chat is checked out, they're checked out. You know what I mean? So that could definitely be strenuous. That could definitely be mentally damaging. So, I mean, bro needs a therapist and a serious relationship. And he needs a woman to break his heart, for sure. For sure. Either that or he needs a fucking reality check. Honestly, man. And, and because, a therapist. I mean, for real, there's, there's no... In comparison, and obviously I'm speaking from a personal place here, there's, in comparison, there is no character development tool like death, heartbreak, and that's pretty much it. Like, those two, there's, they're incomparable to not only each other, but every other task you will ever do. Like, when you have somebody break your fucking heart, it's like, the world can just crumble and you wouldn't fucking care. Like... You no longer act like you're the same person. You no longer feel like you're the same person, truly. And then, of course, when somebody passes away, like, or I guess when somebody brings life into the world, too, I guess we could count that. But that's only ever, I've never given birth to a child. So, I mean, I'm not responsible for any. So, uh, not that you know of. No, no, no. I definitely, I definitely would know. Uh, <laughs> the list is very short of women who are, who have received, uh, those kind of blessings but anyway uh okay i'm serious the list is very 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 short like surprisingly short um i should have you know what let me be quiet anyway um the point is you know these are huge detrimental things that affect not only your mental health but you physically and it alters your entire reality at a certain point so when you get to a place like this either you've been hurt so many times that you think this is really the only like thing i think of women which i don't think i don't think he thinks that at all probably not that's probably just stuff that he named in this clip uh or you've never been in a very serious mutually serious relationship because you could be in a serious relationship and it's only one-sided that other person could just be dating you meanwhile you're just Mm. like i'm gonna get her a promise ring you know i want this to go the distance blah 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 guess what that's not always the case brother so promise ring is hilarious hey man you know betrothing yourself to somebody is like some women find that shit extremely romantic other women find it so corny they'd be like yo it turns them off of you forever like they're like i never want to talk to you again like yeah we were committed but you didn't need to make it like officially official this kind of official way like this is a really big grand gesture and some girls just don't deal well with that so i found that that out the hard way holy shit Especially when they ask you for big grand gestures, and then when you do it, they're like, yo, this is too much. Like, this is borderline. <laughs> like, are you obsessed with me? Like, bitch, that was on your dating profile when we met, that you wanted somebody consistent and someone to be obsessed with you. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, you know, I I don't <laughs> know. I strange. Yeah, now you act strange. Yeah, I gave you what you asked for, and now you act strange. But anyway, uh, I say all of this because, you know, dude probably just... He has his preferences, sure, yeah. Could he have put it a different way? Yeah, sure. Are the snowflakes upset at him? Yeah, sure. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's really just him. That's all it is. Like, regardless of who your significant other is, I mean, if they choose to do that and they choose to agree, he even says it in the video. Like, if that's for you, then, you know, we're going to get along fine or whatever. Like, he's like, hey, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, if that's not for you, then, you know, you don't need to date me, which is Hundred percent true statement. So very true. Hey, if you get in a situation with him and you're a banker and you really love your job and stuff like that, this man's requirement to marry me or to to be in a relationship with me or have my children is you can't work. If a woman who enjoys working and making her own money, she's probably not going to work for him. They're just not going to work. So an independent woman is definitely not going to work for him. I mean. I mean, he All just want, he really just said he wanted a traditional relationship, and then people were like, "Oh my God, he must hate women!" Like they, I feel like a lot of people do this thing where they just you hear something and then you're like, "Oh, he's got to be an incel," and it's like, well, that could perhaps be the <laughs> could be correct, but for the most part, I doubt that's the case. Yeah, and I think if you want something a little bit more traditional, uh, I mean. This level of traditional is like level 10, though. I feel like this is like on a scale of zero being like your wife is busting it down on on the Internet and you're just cool with it. Eh, And 10 is whatever this guy is doing. Yeah, this is definitely a 10. Um, So 
I don't know, man. I I can't speak to it. I've never found a lot of traditional stuff to be. I mean, I'm traditional esque. Like I would prefer to be the breadwinner in the relationship, but I know that's not a reality that we exist in. Uh, especially considering I've had an ex girlfriend who was making two hundred thousand dollars a year to tell jokes. Uh, so I mean, you know, who am I to <laughs> who am I to say what you can and can't do? But then again, I only have that that opinion because I have that point of view. I'm sure if this guy ever dated a woman who was making millions of dollars a year, he'd probably change his tune. He'd probably be like, well, I do like this girl. I don't want her to go anywhere because love is defined in very different ways and it works in very different ways. It doesn't sound like this guy wants love. He just wants a bitch to be there to do things for him. Uh, which once again, those three major tasks you can pay for. Uh, four yeah, if they you count coochie yeah, yeah they all can be paid for and the cool <laughs> thing about the fourth one is you can have a variety you don't have to stick with the same one if you want a brown one this day you can have it you want a yellow one this day you can have it like you want one with the little with the weird arby's flaps you can have it i mean you know whatever you want play it you got the money for it you got the bread spend it so i don't know i'll never understand the plight of some rich people so also true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to keep that in context. That this man is what? He's definitely he's making probably that a millionaire. Yeah, if he's not a millionaire, he's a hundred thousandaire. If not a hundred thousandaire, he's making enough to to live. So, which is way better than I'm doing. So I can't say shit. And me, both yeah. of us combined, actually. Uh huh. Matter of fact, if we if we did the fusion dance, we still wouldn't even be twenty five percent of this person. Oh, uh, I I mean, it'd be less than like ten percent for sure. For sure. Maybe five. I think it definitely five. five. Strong five. I mean, most... It, yeah, like... We'd have a big dick, though. Of that is you. Oh. I can't relate to that one, but... No, no, no. You will if we do the fusion dance. That's gonna be that you! Is, oh, my God. The first time <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry through. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, but... Yeah, man, I, I I don't know. I hope to one day relate to whatever struggle this is this man is having, but, you know, or be able to relate to anything this guy is saying. Trust me, if I was making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year by playing video games and just talking on the internet. <laughs> shit. Life I would be way I, different. I wouldn't be single, that's for sure. Ah! Uh, I wouldn't true. buy. I wouldn't have only depression if you either. wanted to be. Yeah, only if I wanted to be. Yeah, true, true. Actually, yeah, that's a big true. Uh, I wouldn't have depression as hard as I do. Um, I'd have a different type of depression probably, but, um, I forgot what book I was reading where, damn, uh, I feel like it was either a streamer or a rapper or something like that. And they were saying, I can't remember who it was, but basically being a high profile figure, the, the stress that you have, that you have substituted for, I wonder what I'm going to eat today. You substitute that for, I wonder if this person is a real friend to me. And so that's probably a completely different struggle that I've only had to deal with on a minor scale. But I mean, really, like, are these people even your friends? Like, are these people only around me because I can provide things for them? Or do they genuinely give a fuck about me? And I feel like that's a topsy turvy type of way to think. Uh, because I mean, if you're not giving up your bread, like, it's it's like, so what? Like, you know, you may be giving up time and time is valuable. But what you put out into people you get back so i mean if you've already put in the work to know who's around you who's a good person who's not a good person it's like when new people come around those are acquaintances not friends so mm. i mean you know it is what it is I, and, and that's just me knowing what that's like on a small scale like on the scale that i'm on now so i couldn't imagine like I mean, to be honest, it's, and I had this epiphany today. It was like really hard to keep up with chat this morning because we had like 20 people in, in like, and I think like 14 of them were all talking at the same time and I could not keep up with the chat. Like it was kind of, it was kind of irritating low key, uh, because mm. I was trying to address every single person. Cause that's what I'm used to. Um, but as soon as I started trying to do that, I was running out of breath and I was like, holy fuck. Like I could talk for a long time, but like, I can't talk this much, uh, so I could only imagine like what it's like to cherry pick this, that, and the other thing. And I'm I'm not gonna lie, there was a point in time where like when I would watch a streamer and I would type in the chat, I would say something funny that was clearly funny. Chat would see it, and everybody in the chat would think it was funny, or like a few people in the chat would think it was funny. Okay, three people in the chat would think it was funny. 
There and the go. streamer wouldn't acknowledge it. They would read like the comment like directly under mine, and I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Like, I know my, I know, I know you saw my shit. My shit was funny. That used to actually low key bother me, like eight years ago. Like, but then I was like, "There's no way that you can read." I've always said like, "Oh, if I'm a big streamer, I'll read every single comment in the chat because that's how I felt." Because I was going into some of my favorite streamers' streams, and they were never responding to me, and I'm like. Okay, let me use the highlight thing. Let me use these like points or whatever, and they still wouldn't see it. And I'm like, okay, like, so it's impossible. So I could only imagine like what it would be like a hundred times more than what I have to deal with. And that's probably part of the mental stress that this dude is talking about. Like, I'm sure he doesn't see it the the same way I do, but he's probably just like, look at all these fucking people in the chat. Like, god damn, like I gotta talk to some of them, otherwise they'll leave. So, and which is true. You know, if you don't get addressed and, you know, you don't have the mental state to be like, oh, well, this streamer is clearly trying to respond to as many people as they can. Uh, yeah, you know, I've left the chat before. I've left the chat when Shay wasn't responding to me at, at one point in time. And I was the only person in chat. <laughs> so it was like 2.30 in the morning. It's me and three other people. I know this bitch saw this funny ass joke I typed in here. So, you know, anyway. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why you always bring this lady up. She's just dope, man. I just have a really big crush on her that will never be reciprocated. That's all. I think it's very healthy for me to say it out loud because then I'm not doing creepy shit, you know? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. What? What's the issue? Is it because I'm a public figure and people would be like, they'll take my clip out of context? It's not that. It's just... It's just weird? You, say, you just say it a little too much. Oh. No, only you, only you hear it. I mean... And PM, that's it. But it's usually just for funnies. It's never really like serious. I mean, unless it's like an example that I'm trying to like, I'm trying to make. Like whenever we're talking about parasocial relationships or something like that, then she comes to mind because I literally don't have a parasocial relationship with any other like content creator that I don't really know. Um, mm -hmm. Especially because I don't really watch a whole lot of content creators that aren't friends of mine or at least acquaintances. Like I just don't. I don't watch them like every now and then I'll watch Noko because he'll do something on stream that, you know, it's pretty fucking sick. Uh, Shay, Nin Ninjala, um, Afro, I know Tasha, I know. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't really watch a whole lot of stream. Oh, Lulu. Uh, that's it. I really only watch five people. Like even some of the homies that like Yaya and, eternal and like some of these other people they just don't stream like they don't stream on the same platform at the same time or maybe they're streaming on youtube and i'm not getting their notifications but like yeah i don't i don't watch a whole lot of streamers so mm. even even agent agent i don't watch i especially don't watch low i didn't realize how boring low actually is like low on his own streams is not not that entertaining. Like, he'll say some stuff that's like, <laughs> like, that's kind of funny. But it's his interactions with other people that are just like, what the fuck? So I'm just confused, like, I don't know. And But I mean, Agent Agent is completely different because I, he and I have a, uh, I would consider somewhat of a parasocial relationship. Because he reminds me of one of the friends I used to have when I was younger. And so when he speaks, like, he's very positive, very, like very cool seems like a very cool dude and i could definitely see myself being friends with him but also at the same time i never type in his chat like you know what i mean like i'm mm. i'm just an observer i'm not a fan yeah of course so i'm a fan of playback let's not get it twisted i'm definitely a fan for playback but i mean if these guys were to disappear one day i'd be like okay well if shade disappeared on the other hand i'd be like damn that sucks like yeah well, you what you love doing that what that's what i'm saying like it, it, the reference was just relevant that's all yeah i i get that you want me to say pewdiepie all right i'll say pewdiepie all right, all right. If no, pewdiepie no, it's, disappeared it's i'd late. be like damn that sucks it's too late what? it's way too late i've no, already heard enough of this girl <laughs> are you sure unfortunately yes, i got I'm one sure. more reference i can make uh i'm good I, you know, I think I will clock out on that the references. No, 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 no. Okay, well, how about how about this? Like, uh, me and Hermsor have a completely different relationship. He streams all the time. Well, yeah, you're you're in his chat a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, I taught him how to play Apex. So, yeah, I mean, he's only he's only gotten a plastic four. So, 
I mean, hey, didn't you just get out of there? Sorry. No, 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 no. I got out of bronze. Different. Oh. That's the that's the poop rank. I've been out of plastic. I've been out of plastic for a minute. Oh, now. plastic is rookie. Yeah, 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 plastic is rookie for sure. Uh, but yeah, I just got out of poop rank. Now I'm uh, nickel. So you know, I'm up. There you go. I'm up, baby. I took out a predator team today. Don't talk to me like that. It's okay. Don't don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> don't let me expose you. Hey don't man, what you see? listen, stop. Don't do stop. this. Yeah, 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 you gotta relax, man. I'm just. Yeah, yeah. I I am gonna relax. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly. a good place to relax. So anyway, I took out this predator team today, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. So. Yeah, man. That was that was a good job you did, man. Honestly, it was there. really good games today. Like. Yeah, it was good. Games. Except for that tail end, I'm definitely gonna have to increase my uh my uh playing ability because i definitely noticed even before we started playing with pm on a on a more consistent basis i was already like leveling up over time just playing with him uh Ooh. and it has significantly changed the way i play the game in general and then majority i'm now at the point where majority of my matches are actually good matches uh unless like i just die to some fuck shit because my teammates are fucking idiots like yeah Let's push this team, even though we haven't healed, have no ammo, and we just dropped at the beginning of the fucking round. Like, come on, bro. Stop. Stop doing this. On storm point. Uphill. <laughs> True. So there's just certain things that people are doing that's like borderline, does your brain even fucking function? Are your synapses, are, are they working? Hello? Hello? So, you know, but... I thoroughly enjoy playing Apex, and therefore, I also enjoy watching people a play Apex, and therefore, I watch Apex streamers. That's as far as I go, because you know where I was going. <laughs> there you go. So, you know. Also, another, just to reference her one more time, because it is actually relevant, um, watching her streams has drastically changed the way that I view my streams, um, because she's the only person who is like, streaming so consistently that it's almost like what the fuck and like she always has like 150 to like 500 people in her chat like all the time no matter what time it is when she's doing her subathons or her 72 24 48 hour streams or whatever uh there are always people in the chat they're talking to each other they're there and it's always like 150 more people and i think there's like 30 or 40 people actually actively talking in the chat and she'll be off to the bathroom or taking her kids somewhere or sleeping you know what i mean like bro these people are really either in like super enthralled with her or they just want to be a part of the party you know what i mean like there's there i don't know what it is about certain creators that could do stuff like that like there's no way i could promise my my stream, my chat, my channel, like we're going to do a 72 hour stream. And that includes like me doing everyday things around my house or, uh, doing such a, like for real IRL stream to where like I can take a nap. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'd have to be doing something on my stream. So there's, mm. there's no way my, my, I do not have the audience to support that. Not only do I not have enough people, but even if I did, that would be, I don't think they would fuck with me like that. I genuinely don't believe people even fuck with me at all barely but True. i mean you know so i mean it is what it is <laughs> i mean i enjoy being a content creator sure would i give it up absolutely not but i'm definitely today was my one of my first days of of evolution as a streamer actually because uh a streamer and a content creator because as you know like i paid for roberto blake's creator academy yep. um which he states a lot of stuff that's very like level one like if you don't have a thousand subs or if you only have around a thousand subs like the 60 dollars a month is probably going to benefit you so much more than it's going to benefit somebody like me like i am contemplating paying the 600 dollars for a one-on-one -on -one consultation um which actually isn't that bad like when you think about adult money and like how much money you have to spend on bills and how much money you have to spend on other things that create new bills it's like Spending $600 to better yourself would, like, not be bothersome at all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you spent $600 on shoes or clothes in total, like, you go to the mall and you accidentally spend 400 here, 200 here, or, like, 100 here, like, all over the place, right? In a span of a week. This is a whole month of, like, uh, somebody 
taking the time to be like, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is the niche you should focus on. Let's read these analytics. You know what I mean? And then let's focus on these brand deals. Let's reach out to these brands. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? So mm. I see it as, as a definite investment. Especially when you think about like how much college cost, like college costs tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions for some people, um, just to like try, you know what I mean? Just to try. So if my yeah. level of like threshold of like, oh, this is how much I need to spend in order to almost like try harder at being successful, six hundred dollars doesn't sound like that much. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's assuming you get useful information, of course. I mean. This is a guy who's built multiple channels with millions of subs, so... No, I, I understand that. I'm just saying it. it you have to do the, the risk versus reward, right? Like, risk, you get fucking shit information, reward, you know? Uh, you know what I mean? You might get out of the YouTube glitch. That's kind of the way I see it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I mean, obviously, you know, you, you know what you're doing. So. Yeah. Which, by the way, since we last checked earlier, uh, we only lost four subs, so... Completely oh, we're different. Number. Less. Yeah, there yeah. we go. So instead of uh, 58, we're at 54, um, which is interesting because I looked at the live count and it says we went up two subs today. So that's very interesting. Don't know how that works, but sounds exciting. Sounds exciting. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean that. So. I mean things are going up. That's good. Honestly, and I, I, I can't even. I can't say it's because GTA and I are no longer talking. It's just. Uh, that's a factor that exists and now I have nothing to do. So like now uh, I only, I now mean, I only focus on making content cause I don't have to like go outside. I don't have to talk to anybody. Like I haven't left my house in 12 days. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, this is what, honestly, this is what you needed. You needed like some time to focus. focus I, I feel like I'm in Hobbit mode. You know what I mean? Like I literally only leave my apartment when I need to take a walk or, uh get some food or go to the grocery store and even like that last one is like kind of on its way out the door because the grocery store down the street from my house because i live in a predominantly korean and hispanic neighborhood um is literally all just shit for that demographic so i there's literally no black people spices in there uh i can't find the specific bread i like so i have to order it on amazon i can't find the specific chicken breast that i i trust that i like uh because they just have garbage stuff and because this is such a considered a quote-unquote low income area it's kind of always been that way for the last 20 years uh it's not a good grocery store it's just really not mm. and then when i go to one of the other ones which is ralph's which is basically like a subsidiary of kroger's um it's the same thing they cater to the people in the area so there's lots of fucking korean barbecue shit and stuff like that and i can't have korean barbecue every day i'm not joe rogan all right i can't I can't consume massive amounts of meat. Pause. Uh, but, you know, I need to have vegetables and, and all this other stuff. And they just don't have the best. Not only do they not have the best workers, they don't have the best produce. They don't have the best anything. Um, but when I used to live in the Valley, like obviously they catered towards like Armenian and Russian families and stuff like that. For some reason, everything was just like significantly fresher. And there's several more grocery stores like just on the first block like where me and uh heavenly used to live there was like four grocery stores within like two blocks and a 99 cent store and a dollar tree and a goodwill and four different banks like mm. here there's plenty of banks sure no grocery stores because i'm in the middle of the fucking city but i mean whatever anyway to go back to what yeah. i was saying i don't think 600 dollars is, is a huge investment even if it's a flop uh only because roberto blake is confirmed a guru and he helped mr beast achieve a lot of the stuff that he's achieved and has had multiple multiple conversations with him as well as like other really popular streamers and content creators and stuff like that so he could definitely back up what he's saying so even if i get dog shit information that i already knew uh and i i've been paying like the monthly fee or whatever i mean it's not really an issue and by the way, to, to discern and like split the two, the $600 is the uh, private coaching, like one-on-one -on -one thing. Uh, yeah. He only charges $60 a month for the, uh, for the program, which I thought was not really a big price, actually, uh, considering how much money I spend on video games a month 
And considering how much I spend on bullshit a month, I was like, I'll just throw this on my credit card. No big deal. Like, it's not even within my 10% of utilization for my credit card. So I was like, yeah, this is perfect. I, that's the only bill I have for that credit card. So then when the statement comes, I just pay the bill. Cool. Or I pay half the bill or I pay some of the bill. So it seems, yeah. like, a, seems like a much better idea than just, you know, trying to figure it out and using free uh, information all on the internet because that shit doesn't fucking work for sure. I feel like I, I need a refund of my time, actually, <laughs> for some of these like quote unquote gurus that are like, oh, yeah, this is how you go viral and blah, 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 blah. I've literally listened to like eight different Mr. Beast interviews and he gives like different examples of like how to actually go viral and how to make your videos improve. Um, I have attempted it for three different three different videos. Two of them I've uploaded already. Two of them have done great. So mm. the third one goes out tomorrow. Or I guess day after tomorrow, so Friday. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see what the results are. So, I mean, it can only go up, right? No, that's definitely not true. The last two years have proved to me that. Just, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it kind of it kind of stung a little bit when you said that. I was just like, "What? Why would you say that?" I was just fucking with you. So. <laughs> You know, but I, I've I've I felt also for the for the sake of our podcast too as well. Like he also does podcast coaching. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's it's I've gone back and I've changed the title of a quite a few of our podcast episodes, which is interesting. Did you know we're already past like fifty episodes of the podcast in total, or in total, just me and you in okay. total? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me and you, I think we're already. I think we're twenty of those podcasts, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it has to be. I think it's. I think we're thirty. Yeah. So thirty, and uh, it doesn't count the Patreon shit. Yeah, no, no, no it doesn't count the Patreon at all because that's. So we're no, way no, over fifty. Me and you. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But I was super surprised for a inconsistent podcast. That looks like consistency. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so. I mean. It was consistent when it was just me and you, so. Here yeah, you yeah, yeah, that's true. And we get a we get a special guest drop in every now and then, so that's cool. Um, yeah, every now and then we we see Deacon. Yeah, so um, and we hear from DJ, I guess. Uh, I don't, no, <laughs> we don't. We don't hear from DJ. I mean, DJ he gave is me the, the one listening to us. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, he's consuming the podcast more than we are. Um, <laughs> true. <laughs> so. But yeah, I saw it as a really good investment for our podcast and like how to really expand and and reach out to brands and stuff like that and really prove that like, hey, we're doing something, which by the way, I've also looked at our analytics. We've gone up quite a bit uh, as far as our plays and downloads. So shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for that. Um, also, thank you to all the Patreon people. Uh, you guys are, are, are absolutely amazing. Um, I think we're going to start doing a little bit more of a push for uh getting people onto the patreon um which is why i was like oh let me oh that reminds me i gotta buy this michael jackson game for you um <laughs> i almost forgot so yeah uh, if you guys weren't aware uh me and plank were talking about games in one of the previous podcast episodes uh and it's i think it's also in a patreon too and so we're gonna play uh escape the Awoki, which is the michael jackson horror game uh, and by we, I mean Plank, and I'm going to uh, live react with him because I've never played the game, but I own it. So I'm like, yay, you play it. I think this is on you. And <laughs> I'm going to play it and he's going to react. Yeah, that's basically. pretty much what we're going to do. I mean, yeah, because Plank's not really much of a reaction type of person unless it's kind of crazy, you know. And even then, I'm kind of faking it. Yeah, it's just like, whoa, <laughs> OK. Like, I, I mean, I, I've. I've heard him uh, get a get a little, you know, raise the volume for some Apex games, but that's about it. I mean, other than that, even, even that, I'm not even gonna lie. Even that, I'm just being a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, you were definitely being extra today. Today was probably the most extra I've seen you be in a while. So, you know, I'm bored, bro. I'm it not was very lie. pleasant. Yeah, it was very doing, pleasant, I'm, man. The boredom theory. I'm doing it. Oh, okay. the agent's boredom theory. Like, I just got to make problems for myself oh. because I'm just. <laughs> Just so out of touch. Honestly, man, I think making problems for yourself is a lot better than having to deal with the problems that the universe puts in front of me. Fair. So, you know, that's At why... At least I can uh, solve mine. True, 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 true. Which is why, like, we're reading The Alchemist so much on, on stream. 
and it's basically like at this point uh we can run it down to uh it's a story of how when you want something bad enough the universe will conspire every will way shape and form to make sure you have it and in, uh, i've kanye west has said this before if you want something bad enough it's already yours you just have to work for it you just have to like actually take it it's already yours so um i definitely see in the next if i keep going the way that i'm going and hopefully like my job either gets better or i find a new job or something in the next year i definitely see me being a significantly bigger content creator like if i keep going at this rate because like every day is hundreds of views hundreds and hundreds of views like as of let's say two to three weeks ago right let's say three weeks ago to be safe three weeks ago i was getting like 48 view, 48 to 50 views every two days and that's from like new people subbing or new people finding my channel based off of like the algorithm of all the old videos that i have it was maybe around like 50 60 before the break like before the break at like before heavenly moved and all this other stuff i was getting like 1200 views a day like mm. i was i was dramatically gaining subs like crazy like it was just skyrocketing and this was without his help um but so now that everything has kind of like died down i'm older i'm trying to figure out the content i want to make blah 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 blah, blah. i found my niche all the bullshit um i've gone from that 50 60 views a day to we're now at 500 so today we hit 749 749 views in in the last Ooh. in the last two days so nice. and that's not including like twitch uh monday's twitch was probably the monday's twitch is the highest twitch stream i've had since me and heavenly did xenoverse 2 jesus okay yeah. and that that's was like great that was like day of day of uh, it the uh monday's monday night's stream when i was rapping and freestyling on stream 200 views that night 200 views Damn. yeah 200 okay. views that night um the thor love and thunder was the other one that one was like 140 something and this is after stream like like 140 views on the stream after it was over so damn okay and then today was 114 for death stranding so people are really digging death stranding uh me reading and death stranding have been like two of the biggest things to hit my channel and all also obviously like all the friends i'm making on twitter kind of like boosting my page and stuff like that that's significantly helped um i'm glad i'm focusing on twitter instead of uh youtube to try and like get my audience so uh next week we start we expand from twitter to tiktok nice so you know that's why i've been practicing like all of these shorts and story videos and stuff like that um so you know once i like really get the hang of it i don't know and i had to talk to lee boy about this uh maybe it was like yesterday day before yesterday and he was like man you've been like really consistent lately i was like shh, shh, shh we don't talk about it we don't talk about it that's how you jinx it because i've always noticed whenever i plan things ahead of time like oh i'm gonna be this active i'm gonna stream on this day at this time or i'm gonna work on this video or i'm gonna make that video or blah 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 blah. it never gets done yeah if, if i kind of like plot it out like an outline and then just do it anyway without thinking about it so much stuff has gotten done in the last like three weeks of me streaming every single day monday to friday at 6 a.m i've only missed like four because of my doctor's appointments and my surgery yeah but even then like the day of the surgery i was still like streaming so really like three days <laughs> so we've gone from doing almost nothing to working every single day without talking about it just doing it and i mean that is the that's the key yeah so you know i've achieved so much by not planning it uh except for tomorrow i need to plan tomorrow's for sure because i want to put a youtube video out but i'm not sure what so i may just put out the Mega Man short again so that way people nice. can see the a second version of it yeah and i'll probably take like an old clip or something like that and then upload that to shorts and then i gotta put a shorts on the podcast channel um obviously i have to upload this patreon early access video um yep 
I think that's about it. After that, I have to apply to more jobs. Like out of the 50 or some odd jobs that I've applied to, none of them have reached out to me. So except for one guy, he reached out on LinkedIn and he was like, um, he was trying to gauge what my salary was going to be. And I told him, I was like, Oh, I gave him just some obscure number. I was like, Oh, 82,000. And he was like, Oh yeah, yeah, we could probably do that. Um, would you be willing to like relocate though? And I was like, sure why not because i'm thinking like it's it's a studio it's in la like it's probably somewhere here this shit is in north carolina I'm like what the mm. fuck like he agreed to eighty two thousand, and then i was like nah i'm not really looking to relocate and he goes well where would you be relocating from i was like los angeles is probably going to be pretty expensive and he was like oh yeah that would be expensive and then like he doesn't respond after that like for five, six minutes. Then he comes back and he types in the chat. Okay, so I've had a talk with the team. Like, if we could pay, would you be willing to relocate to North, North Carolina? I'm like, no, nigga, I don't. No, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't want to move to North Carolina. I ain't shit there. It's not shit but racist, apparently. So, no, I'm good. That, that's just what I heard from a secondary source. That is, that's not my opinion. I, I don't know who lives there. I forgot North Carolina's a state, honestly outside of <laughs> honestly i forgot about like the the six or seven main states that i actually give a shit about uh, that i hear about frequently there's new york florida new jersey uh texas i hear about uh, a jersey. lot <laughs> yeah i hear about new jersey all the time apparently yeah. uh nevada you don't got shit yeah nevada arizona seattle those are seven seven states oh uh i guess uh illinois i hear about chicago in my life quite frequently I, I have a lot of people talking about it for some reason like it's just buzz around it and maybe louisiana maybe so nine nine states in total that i give a shit about or have heard of in the last four months <laughs> Nice. So, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things. But anyway, yeah, being a content creator uh, has has definitely, uh, yeah, I had to I had to pivot off of that because that was starting to sound weird. Um, being a content creator has definitely changed a lot of the way that I do things. Um, so now that I'm kind of very focused on that, it sucks that it took probably some of the worst parts of my life to get here to where I'm like a solid creator um there you I'm, go i'm definitely trying to get like by the end of the year i want to have 100 people in in chat at all times like on twitch there so, you go yeah or at least be like close maybe like 50 like if we can get 50 strong people in chat all the time like that'd be great so yeah yeah i mean there you go i i, I mean people have been telling you this for this for years but know what i mean i mean it was just it was just one of those things where like now i don't have a choice like <laughs> i don't have a choice is crazy i mean before i to be honest with you like to be really real i just thought i was like an exception to the rule because a lot of things that i don't even put effort in i succeed at so to see that youtube for seven years and content creation for eight has just been so difficult that it's like yo this this can't be like, and I thought I hit my stride for a while, like, in September of 2019, when I was just, like, making buku amounts of, like, money from streaming and making content, like, w which is crazy that I say that, because I was making almost $1,000 a month just from, like, streaming and making videos. Uh, Damn. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was. I think my CPM was, like, way, way higher, and I had those couple of, like, really viral Assassin's Creed videos that did really well um the heavenly podcast was doing really well uh so i was getting a cut of that too so nice yeah yeah so that was that was really cool and the kickback on that was great and we didn't have a whole lot of people in stream but we had a lot of supporters like dropping that was, i think that's when lee boy first came along so uh yeah that was that was an interesting time period so i mean it's it's seeming less and less hard every single day so mm. I say that, but then when I get up at six oh five in the morning tomorrow, and I'm like, "Fuck!" Like, all right, let's stream. Which brings it's also funny enough brings me back to one other point that I was gonna say earlier. Then I'm kind of done talking. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, I just feel like I've been talking for a cool minute. That's why. Um, I've noticed that um, 
I find it way more easy to be consistent. Have you ever uh, seen that clip of that guy who's talking about like the five minute rule when he goes to the, when one of his clients was going to the gym? Yeah, I mean, I remember telling you about that rule. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We were so, talking about it one time. And I remember us referencing it maybe a couple of years ago, too. Like when I was having an issue with creating content. So I, I reference that. And for those who don't know, uh, because you probably didn't listen to the full conversation last time me and Plank talked about it, <laughs> was uh, there's this guy who was uh, this other guy's personal trainer. And he told him to master the art of just showing up. And the guy would only show up and do five minutes of a workout. He would only do like half of it or like some of it. And then he would leave. And he ended up losing like, what was it, 150 pounds that year or something like that? It was like an absurd number. Yeah, it was a, it was a good amount. Yeah, it was, it was a huge, huge amount of weight loss for a year. And he was only going for five minutes. And so the guy was like, hey, well, how are you getting all this done? Like, you're really only going for five minutes. And he mastered the art of just showing up. And I genuinely believe that I've done that specifically for my live stream. So as long as I just keep showing up, like people will keep popping up, I guess. Yes, so, sir. You know, a wise streamer once said, man, hit that go live button. Uh, <laughs> that's how you be a streamer. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So that's the best way to start. Honestly, I, I couldn't imagine, I mean, I've imagined my life as a YouTube content creator or like a voice actor or anything like that. I, I like, I imagine, yeah, I imagine what that life would be like. And it's very much like today and yesterday and the day before where it's like, get up and I work for five hours and I get like multiple videos done and all this other stuff. And like, I'm cool. I'm chilling. Like, I know these videos are going to do well. If they don't, then I'll just replace them with new ones. Um, and I don't see, I've never contemplated what it would be like to be a full-time streamer. Like, I mean, it's not going to happen this year, like maybe next year, but, uh, for this year in particular, I mean, I don't know if my TikTok keeps blowing up, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I've never really considered like what that lifestyle would be like. I especially didn't know I'd be getting up at 6am to live stream to 20 people. So there's that. I think I've gotten more people since the time change. I've lost a I've lost a couple of people like that aren't able to make the streams, but considering majority of my audience that does watch my and consume my content, specifically my live streams are located on the East Coast. 9 a.m. for a Just Jay Sama live stream doesn't sound like too unreasonable, especially when I'm on for two hours. And it's like okay, in between nine to eleven, if if you have time to stop by, like. You can. And then for the UK, it's even better because it's like in the middle of the evening. It's like three o'clock. Um, yeah. Five if you're Lee boy. Um, eight if you're Lorenzo. So it's like, or I guess seven. Yeah, he's 11 hours. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it just seems like it works out a lot better for me. And of course, you know, I get up, I exercise a little bit. Uh, I take cold shower and then I hop on stream. Or, like, I'll brush my teeth and wash my face and stuff. So, you know, getting shit done, man. Getting shit done. So, but. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know. That's I think I like that's. Here. Yeah, you know, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put something together. Because being 30 sucks. <laughs> being 30 well, absolutely sucks. Right sucks. Now. Uh, well, I mean, it does. Because especially when you plan your future with somebody. And they're like, mm. never mind. <laughs> You know what I mean? So can't be doing that. Yeah, definitely can't be doing that at all. So, but I don't know, hey. man. I, I don't have anything figured out hardly. I, yeah. so, Me either, brother. I'm yeah. still doing the same shit I was doing four years ago. So, uh, What do you want to do in the next four years? Fucking never mind. I can't say that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't say that chill one. Out, chill out, chill uh, out, chill out. Hopefully, man, I want to, you know what I mean? Get out of the whatever i'm in right now yeah hopefully there'll be a point where uh the answer is clear but the answer hasn't been clear for a long time mm -hmm. nor do i think it'll ever be clear just to just to say it but mm. i i want some form of clarity whether it be you know what i mean progressing in a career finding a hobby i genuinely enjoy um shaking ass on the tl that one uh <laughs> Just, you're, not uh, you're not trying just to throw ass more. on the timeline? Uh, 
No, not not specifically. What about theoretical ass? Uh, neither that. I don't. Theoretical means possibility. So. <laughs> what about hypothetical? Never. No, never hypothetical. Never hypothetical, huh? No, absolutely not. All right. Well, somebody don't got ass. That's all you had to say. Yeah, a hundred percent. Uh huh. Cheeks is yeah, flat. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, cheeks are definitely flat. It's, oh my god. <laughs> well, you said it. <laughs> so now, so now we're doing this. I just, I just no, think we, it's funny. No, that's all. Nah, no, 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 no. I just, think, okay. nah, I just think it was funny. That's all. It's like what, what we said about the Catholics at the beginning of the. You know, I, I, I cut that part out. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. damn! Honestly, and don't get mad. I checked the OBS, like when we started talking about like the content stuff a little bit, or yeah. no, when we started talking specifically about Greek God X. Uh, my mic was muted the whole time and so therefore i had to like pretend to be perplexed <laughs> bruh even though i had said like some great some fire jokes <laughs> damn you fucked so up. Yeah, yeah yeah i fucked up big time well i mean i had it i had my mic muted for you know because i was recording sound effects earlier today like the nintendo stuff so oh, yeah and just to like alleviate like having to like edit my voice out or like delete tracks or anything like that i just muted my mic so i just left it muted so uh definitely gonna check that for next time but i mean speaking of yeah. next time we'll see you guys next time that's that's pretty much it wow. for today man thank yeah. you yeah this was great i wasn't yeah. another great patreon episode if you guys in, enjoyed this episode make sure to let us know down in the comments section thank you guys thank you to all of our patrons for listening uh thank you guys for watching this uh this is actually one that's going to go public later on uh if you guys want to listen to the audio version there's going to be a link down in the comments uh, down in the description and i guess the comments i've already said it who fucking cares um <laughs> if you want to mm. listen on any respective platform that you have uh spotify stitcher google Podcasts, apple uh, those links are going to be down in the description as well. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, also check out everybody's socials. Turn on that notification bell to join Nodi Gang. Gang. No, oh, wait, wrong podcast. <laughs> wrong podcast. <laughs> wrong podcast. Also, one last thing. Yes. Uh, make sure to check us out on Anchor. Yes, on yes, yes. Smack us on, on, on Anchor FM. That'd be great. Uh, Anchor actually has the ability for you guys to leave voice comments. And then we can actually take those and, and embed them and put them in the show. So if you guys use anchor.fm and you want to be part of the show, make sure you head over there, anchor.fm slash canon culture, and you guys can leave video recordings or audio recordings for us and we can put it in the show. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys next time.